Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this presentation template inside PowerPoint using some of my favorite PowerPoint animations and features, including some that you probably don't even know about. So as you can see, we have a 3D model in this template, the morph transition, a clickable slide zoom, and some draggable objects. So let's get started going through a step-by-step -step guide on how to make this template. First things first, we need to create a fun title slide. So to have that fun title slide, we need a good image background. So I have saved this gradient image just from Canva that I'll place onto my slide. And now let's go ahead and add a text box for our title. We will give it a quick format update. We'll turn our text white. Let's change our font and our size. And let's also go ahead, oops. There we go. Let's make our jellyfish bold and a little bit bigger of a size as well. Let's adjust this a little bit and that is looking excellent. Now let's add our first 3D model. So in our insert tab, just go ahead, click on 3D models. I love using 3D models because there's so many different options. Everyone can find something they're looking for and they work really well with the morph transition. So let's find our jellyfish friend and insert him right onto our slide. Now we can adjust just a little bit, place him where we want to on our slide, and let's give him a little bit of movement in our animations tab. So here, if we click the arrow, we can see the different animations just for 3D models. So we can add the swing, and let's make this a little bit longer. Give it a quick preview. Much better, great. Now let's duplicate this slide so that we can create our index. So let's get rid of the words that we do not need and adjust our text and our 3D model. So we can give it a nice little spin and rotate him. Perfect. And now let's add some more text for each one of the body parts that we're going to cover. I'm going to copy and paste the format that we used from our other presentation and select and then I'm just gonna copy and paste our other ones from the other presentation into this one. Line it up nice, and that looks good. Now we have to add in our arrows to lead to each body part. So on the insert, let's add a shape. We can add our arrow leading to the right one for the first, and let's make sure our outline is white and our weight is four and a half points. Now we can do Control D to duplicate our arrow line it up to the correct place for each one. And the last one here looks good. Now let's create that dynamic side menu here that we're gonna use to jump between each one of the body parts that we wanna cover. So we have our four body parts here plus this first title slide. So we want to insert first a circle Hold down the shift key while you're making it so it's nice and perfect. We're gonna keep this first one quite small and move it over to the side. And we wanna duplicate this just once, line it up nice, and let's duplicate it. We said five times, so let's do three more here. Perfect, now we have our five circles. Highlight them all and let's go again. Make sure they're white here and our outline will be gray. This side menu is just a placeholder for now where we're gonna design all our other slides and we'll tweak it just a little bit at the end. So now let's go ahead and create a section on the side here when you right click. Let's add a section for each one of these body parts that we're going to cover. Good, so we have all of our sections. Let's go ahead and slide number two and duplicate this and put it into our bell section. And now let's go ahead, hold the shift key while you select all the objects that you do not need anymore on this slide. Then we can go ahead, let's make this a little bit bigger and adjust our text and our 3D model. I'm going to make this one quite big so you guys can always zoom out on your PowerPoint slides and we will adjust to bring him down. And last, we'll just move our arrow. And back from my other slide deck, I'm going to copy and paste our extra text here. This looks good, so let's duplicate him for each one of the sections that we have coming up for the body parts. So this one will have our muscle ring. Two more times, so we have tentacles and our arms in sting. So once the text is adjusted, we can adjust our 3D model one last time and our arrow. Now that we have all the slides done, let's work on this dynamic side menu. So here is where we want to be able to click on a button and it will link us to that slide matching the corresponding body part. So on our first slide here, let's just go ahead and on the insert tab, 
click on links, click on link again, and we want to link it to slide number two. And for the next one, we want it to go to the bell slide. So we will link, link to slide number three. Same thing for slide number four, slide number five, and lastly, our slide number six. And to make sure that we know which slide that we are currently on, we'll make the one, the slide that we're on, make that shape a little bit bigger. So hold down the shift key and make that circle just a little bit bigger. We can highlight all of these shapes and in our shape format, let's align center and distribute vertically. Now let's copy and paste, select them all, copy and paste them, and we will delete them from our other slides, those placeholders that we had, paste them in, and now we just need to adjust our circles. So for this one on the second, just make sure, hold down that shift key, and we can align them correctly. Select them again, and we will align them center and vertically. Copy them, delete our old ones, paste them in and adjust the size. Select again and align center and distribute vertically. Three down, two more to go. And last one here. Perfect, let's jump into our presentation and check out this side menu first before we continue on. So now we can see that we have all of our buttons here and they are clickable where we can jump in between our slides. To make these transitions a little bit nicer than just those jump, let's make sure we add in a morph transition. So back in edit mode, click on the transitions and click morph and then apply to all. And now when we go check out our slides in our PowerPoint slideshow, when we click on the side menu, you see that nice transition with that morph working on our 3D model, the arrows and our text. Okay, so the next part is, is we need to do our slide zoom. So that's when we can go deeper into a slide to reveal some more information. So to do that, let's first create a section, a new section after our muscle ring section. So here we'll label it inside. And from there, let's go ahead and add a brand new slide into our presentation. And since most of the text on our slide is white, let's right away in our design, let's format our background and make our background black. And now we want to copy our 3D model and just one part of text here. Let's copy that and we can paste it onto this page. First, let's change our text. Perfect, and edit our 3D model. So we're gonna add one more slide into this section. So let's go ahead and duplicate it here. And let's change this text to one of the inside body parts of our jellyfish. We can remove these two boxes here and let's edit the placement of our model. That's looking really nice. And let's go back into our other section and copy and paste the other three body parts for our jellyfish. And we will adjust all of these words to put them at the bottom. Now we have to add in those arrows again to lead to the right words. So let's add our first one in our shape outline, make it white, make sure our weight is four and a half points. We're going to add four arrows here on the different parts. So make sure we duplicate and put in the correct location on our jellyfish. And here is where we activate those objects that can be draggable during your presentation. So PowerPoint doesn't have a way for you guys to freely move objects when you're presenting on your own. So that's why we're going to be using ClassPoint. So ClassPoint is just a PowerPoint add-in. Once you download it, it's installed right in your PowerPoint ribbon, and it allows for that movement of objects when you're in your presentation. They have some other PowerPoint presentation tools as well that you can check out, but today we are just gonna be focusing on those draggable objects. So to make objects draggable, just select your object. We're gonna select all four of these here. Click on the class point tab and on the draggable objects icon. From there, just go ahead and toggle to have these objects be turned on. And when you click outside and click on the eye icon, you'll notice that there is a nice outline on those four different objects to indicate that they're gonna be draggable during your presentation. Okay, so our draggable objects are added. Now let's complete this section zoom. So in the arm muscle ring section, let's go to the insert tab and now link and this time click zoom and section zoom. And we want to do our zoom into our section four, that inside. And first thing to do is to remove this black background. So right click, click zoom background, and now it is transparent. 
However, it is a little bit distracting with both the fish and the words. So first, let's go back into this slide and save our model as an image. So right click again and click save as a picture. And back on our muscle ring slide, let's click on this and go to change image from a file and click on that image that you just saved. And now we have a, another jelly right next to our other one. Last thing before we take a look at how all of this pieces together is just making sure that our morph transition is on all of our slides. So in the transitions tab, click on morph and select apply to all and we're good to go. Let's take a look. On our first slide, we have that animation, the movement of our jellyfish, and then we're taken right to our index slide with our side menu here. So let's go ahead, jump right to our muscle ring slide so we can check out what we just created with that slide zoom. So now we have our jellyfish here, we can click on it and we're led right to that first slide with that transparent background and our next slide with our draggable objects. So we'll see a quick highlight to indicate which ones those are. Click on the draggable objects icon on that bottom toolbar and now we can go ahead and move our objects exactly where we want them on our slide. And that is it. You guys can now use this framework to create your own template with 3D models, morph, section slide zooms, and draggable objects. If you want to use this template and download it for free, first make sure you download ClassPoint and then you can download this template down in the link below.